800-653-3139. And finally, please support our local AM and FM affiliates. Tell folks about the show. Support the local sponsors. You know what they do to try to get us off the air over the years? It's only made us stronger. Become a local sponsor. I want to thank you all. InfoWars. Life.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or the local station you're listening to today. It is essential to support them, to fund them, and to sponsor them, and to spread the word, as I said. Now, this is how my brain works. I'm driving into work this morning, and I hear 590, our local affiliate, AM, talking about a elementary school first grade teacher Alfredo Gaitan, charged with sexual assault, released on bail for $5,000. He posted a $50,000 bond, paid $5,000. You can pay 10% and get out. And he has admitted to police he did it. And now they're saying it's a bunch of other little girls that he would hold whoever he wanted back during recess. I mean, I don't want to shoot my mouth off, but... If some man did, did that to my six-year-old daughter, I have a six-year-old daughter. Just as a matter of course, I'm coming after you. I'm not even calling the police. And in the old days, that's how it was. So people didn't do stuff like this. Now, this happened in North Austin. On the Round Rock arrested him. Basically, a suburb of Austin. Austin Independent School District. It happened in Austin, but I guess Austin wouldn't do anything, so I guess they had Round Rock do it. Uh, and uh, and I'm not bashing Austin. The point is, is that we're getting to the point now where no one will even stop these people. And I heard all of this outrage going on about it's so terrible that this admitted child rapist. I mean, take one look at this guy if you're watching us on TV. These guys, I don't care what color they are, they all have the same wimpy look on their face. I mean, what kind of person wants to go after a little girl? Absolutely, I want to say violent things. I'm not going to say it right now. And I'm not just trying to act tough. I mean, I'm just being honest. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. So I understand everybody's mad, but everybody's been trained to not be mad about this next story. According to jail records, a former teacher arrested for sexually assaulting a six-year-old has uh, been bonded out of jail. Alfredo Gaitan was arrested on Friday after police say he confessed to the assault. He accused, he's accused of holding a girl back after recess at Riley Elementary last week and forcing her to perform sexual acts on him. I'll perform an act on his head with a baseball bat. It was my daughter. Police charged uh, him with aggravated sexual assault, and since his arrest, four more students within the Austin Independent School District have come forward with allegations of sexual misconduct. Man, you hear about this stuff all the time, and, and now here's the rest of the story. Here's the rest of the story. Remember this out of World Net Daily a few weeks ago? Release of 36,000 criminal aliens, impeachable offense, 36,000 with aggravated assault records, including sexual assault, rape of children, indecency with children, bank robbery, arson, and they're just released. Remember the railway killer who killed 20 plus people and he, they kept arresting him and releasing him because he was an illegal alien and had fake names? I mean, if you're running from the law from Latin America, 800 million people are down there. You just come here and you're above the law. And the border is just wide open. So see, when I see an article like this, it makes me think about how America is now a criminal playground for people from Latin America to just come here and do whatever they want, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not that people, I guess, are criminals in Latin America on average, even though it's a very kleptocratic society, People have just given up on corruption, let the criminals run wild at every level. It's that statistically the criminals are coming here and America is a big joke. Now, let's shift gears back into Austin again. This is how my brain works. I saw this article this morning and instantly thought, you've got the FBI doing their job with one hand 
And then with the other hand, you've got Obama, the Pentagon, and NATO arming the ISI and the Al-Qaeda on record for three and a half years against Libya, Syria, and now Iraq. Two men arrested in Texas on terrorism charges. The two men, and we've got photos of these morons. One of them's named Khan, the other's Wolf. Two men in central Texas have been arrested on charges of trying to provide material support to terrorists, with one of the pair seeking to aid extremist groups fighting in Syria, U.S. prosecutors said yesterday. Ratal Askimi Khan, 23, was arrested at his home in Austin suburb of Round Rock and charged with terrorist activities, including committing violent jihad, according to court documents unsealed yesterday. Wolf was arrested at Bush International Airport in Houston on Thursday. Attempting to provide material support, I guess they're going to join the terrorists. How are they arresting these guys when they're trying to go join the group our government gave Stinger missiles to? Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. How long would you last? If all grocery stores cease to exist. Not in America. This can't happen in America. Because of my concern about our government, I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout, and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got. I like the containers they were shipped in. If they keep in touch with you, you get your emails, you get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick, it came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us, because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. By the way, I was conflating uh, the, the Round Rock arrest of the reported terrorist trying to support Obama's forces and the Saudi Arabian forces in Iraq and Syria and the uh, admitted, confessed uh, child pervert, child rapist. Uh, Austin did arrest this guy in North Austin, and so good job, Austin. Uh, but now the uh, court has just let him go for $5,000 after uh, being in jail three days. And then I was dovetailing that uh, with two men arrested in Texas uh, on the terrorism charges up in Round Rock, north of Austin. 
and the fact that they were arrested for trying to raise money or get weapons or plan to go to Syria to join the groups who are being openly given a green light and weapons by our government. So that just shows how uncoordinated and out of control the compartmentalization is. Whereas you've got FBI and people following the law, arresting people that give aid to known terrorist organizations, while at the top, Obama gives Stinger missiles to them. And by the way, before I get to all these uh, video clips and our guest that's joining us, we've got a special report with David Knight, not a chance that IRS officials are telling the truth about missing emails. It's a very good report. Fox and Friends has a report detailing that uh, Health and Human Services is just giving illegal alien uh, children to their extended families in the U.S. Well, it's beyond that. They're taking adults and doing it too. Uh, we broke that yesterday. No one's picked it up. It's, it's so sensational. It's so off the chart that, that no one's picking it up. Uh, even though if it gets picked up, it could put a stop to it. But no one can believe the Border Patrol under orders loads them up at the border and ships them into the country. Wait a minute. Drudge just did. Drudge just went with a red link. Incredible. Incredible. DrudgeReport.com comes to the rescue. Claim Homeland Security paying for illegals to be escorted into the United States. And then we have uh, DHS to pay for illegal immigrants to be escorted into the United States. Minors up to the age of 17 to be brought in with dignity and respect at taxpayer expense. That's a Paul Joseph Watson article. Uh, and it goes over uh, the solicitation but that's just a blurb Watson put out. We've got to add to this right now. Jakari Jackson's video where the head of emergency management, can you call Kit Daniels in here, please? See, I've noticed news this big and this bombshell is it, it, like so over the top, people don't even know how to deal with it. It's like the government funding Al-Qaeda. Uh, it's just hard for people to believe. I'm going to talk to him on air. Hey, Kit, come on, come in. You did a great job yesterday just taking the video. And just adding the transcript of the uh, McAllen emergency manager to it. Mm -hmm. I want to add to Watson just that transcript okay. about, you know, in a separate story, confirming this. Because this is going to be attacked and denied because it's so hardcore. Okay. The emergency manager said they arrived with their tickets given to them by the Border Patrol to be shipped, quote, into the interior. And, I, and we have the video of it. Just, just, just basically take that article and add it under Watson's that has the government solicitation uh, at fbo.gov where they're admitting it here. Okay. So really the government is admitting it here. It's already going on. They're just getting ready to mainline it. And so I guess Drudge is careful about only reporting accurate stuff. So he waited till even more proof came out to link to this. Mm -hmm. But this is, th this is huge. Yeah. Because if we force this out, that's why I was running around on Kachigo with my head cut off yesterday. If we force this out, it is going to be a big, 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 big deal. Uh, because we have them red-handed. The, the buses come in, the Border Patrol lets them in, the Border Patrol gives them the vouchers. So just take your article, your transcript, add it to the bottom of Watson's. Uh, just as if it's the article. And say, confirming this, here's the video, and then, you know, just break it down, okay? Red link to ondrudgereport.com. We need this to go mega viral right now. Good job, Watson, finding that. Uh, so that's all coming up. Uh, all right. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.